Welcome to Fusion Adventures and today we're going to start our Ned Kelly series. I still can't believe that I'm standing like in front of Ned Kelly's house. This is so freaking cool. Like, oh, it's Ned Kelly's house. He's gonna shoot me. <laughs> He's gonna come out with his uh, his helmet. His helmet. Edward Kelly, also known as Ned Kelly, is Australia's most famous bushranger. He was a convicted police killer and a gang leader. Iconically known for his six millimeter iron armor helmet. I'm glad you said iron armor helmet. Ned Kelly is very close to my heart. He was my dad, who has since passed. Favorite iconic Bush Ranger. This is like a tribute to him. So hopefully uh, he's up there watching. Going, good on you, mate. <laughs> Ned was born in June of 1855 in the beautiful little town of Beveridge in Victoria. He was the oldest, oldest son, son out of eight siblings. His dad was John the Red Kelly and his mom's name was Ellen Quinn. So for whoever is watching this, the one thing Australia is known for as far as the history is concerned, is known as the land of convicts. So Ned's dad was not different. He was uh, sent to Australia in the state of Tasmania in the year 1842. The reason being he stole two pigs from somewhere, probably from a pig farm and then he was Transported from Ireland down to Tassie for yep. seven years. Harsh sentence. As soon as he got out, he moved to Melbourne and that's where he, he met, met his wife. Ellen Quinn. So the two moved to Beveridge and that's where John built their family home around 1859. Ned and the siblings, six siblings. Annie, Margaret, James, Daniel, Catherine, Grace. Yeah, I didn't uh, memorize them. I'm just reading it off a sheet of paper. <laughs> That's where they spent their early years. So as far as the house is concerned, obviously a small house. It had a single bedroom, a single living room and a single kitchen. The parents and all the kids, they used to sleep together in that little room. Uh, they also had a blue stone fire uh, stone or a fireplace. That was pretty much the central area where mm -hmm. once they had cooked dinner yep. and they all sat down around it. They tell some stories. Had some dinner and told each other stories. So in the five years that they lived there, they also uh, ran a dairy farm. They had a vegetable garden and fruit trees to help them survive. But unfortunately, they were still struggling. And so dad would always go down to the pub to have a few drinks. As and, would I if I had eight kids. <laughs> just drinking, drinking heavily, specifically at the Hunter's Trice. Pub, yes, yes, in Beveridge. And you would see that the pub still exists to the day and it's been redone a couple of times over the mm -hmm. years. And back then, like, uh, we have a car, so it takes us one minute to get there. Well, for him, it would have taken him probably 10, 15 minutes to walk. Yeah, so from so, the house to the pub, I think it was uh, by car, it was a couple of minutes drive. Mm -hmm, if yep. you walk, probably 10 to 15 minutes of walk. Although on the way back, it would have taken him an hour. It probably, I don't <laughs> even know if he got back to the house. <laughs> He had a specific spot in the bar that he used to sit and have yes, drinks. Yes. We, I, I believe we actually sat in the same spot. We did, yes. When we had the park. There's a couple of Ned Kellys across the road over there. <laughs> the Ned Kelly Park! He's got more energy than me today. <laughs> He's missing his arm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Ned. <laughs> I love Ned Kelly. I love Ned Kelly too, and I can't believe that we're in this bar where yeah. his dad used to drink. He, he was, was sat right here on this table. You know how I know that? Because he called me last night and he said that this is exactly where I used to drink. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Because he walked, obviously, yeah. so for us it's easy because we can jump in the car but for him. 10 minute walk and then he would have been like Ooh, all the way home. Okay. And he had so many kids that he would have lived at this bar the whole time. I reckon Ned Kelly can be described as the Robin Hood of Australia. Ned Kelly's my hero. 
Like everyone portrays him as this bad person, but to me, a real hero because he did everything he for a, a good person. purpose. We even made a couple of movies on him. Heath Ledger was in one of he them. He was. That was great. Yeah, check that out. Gotta love Heath Ledger. Yum. <laughs> We we'll take our drinks if you want to go out. Hey. Look at you, babe. Look at you. What are you, doing up? What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Oh. Beep. Such is life was his last words. So we also tried to find the school that Ned and his siblings went to in the few years that they were there, which is called the St. John Catholic Church at the moment. But back then it was called... It was called a beverage primary school back in the day. We tried looking for it. We even asked for directions at the pub, mm. but yeah, we just couldn't find where it was. So if anyone's been in the area and they've actually been to that church, yeah. Maybe comment down below so that we can check it out next time. Uh, we really want to thank you guys for watching this video again today. Just one uh, thing we wanted to say uh, on both of our behalf is, as you know, we, uh, we are a new YouTube channel. We just yeah. started creating content and it takes a lot of time and resources to create this content for you. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of things planned that we want to bring to you yes. in the future as well. So we would really appreciate if you could like and especially subscribe to this channel mm -hmm. so that we can meet our goals of getting our subscriptions up and yes. keep putting some great content out for you guys so yes. you can enjoy it.